Hi, welcome to Zach of All Traits. Today, I'd like to introduce you to what I'll be referring to as the giving trailer. You know, we've all read that Shel Silverstein book about the tree that the little boy swings in and then cuts its branches and leaves and trunk down and then he sits on the stump. Well, it's kind of the same story with this little camper. See, I bought this little gem of a camper, this 1969 Air Flow camper, affectionately referred to in our home as Aunt Flo. I bought it, I gutted it, I fixed it up on the inside to make it a nice place to live for six months or so while I sc scouted a place to live in a new town, a new area. That's been about 10 years ago, and it's been in storage ever since, with the odd occasion of a friend using it here and there, and I think that we camped in it one time. One time. So I've been paying for storage. And though it's a very inexpensive place to store my camper, I still would conservatively say, I did a little bit of, applied a little math to it yesterday, and I was aghast to figure out that I believe I've spent over $3,000 in storage on this little camper. I paid $2,000 for it. Yeah. I've paid more in storage than I paid for the camper itself. So I decided it was time to sell it. And believe it or not, try as I might, I thought that people would be beating down my door to buy this little camper. I mean, look, it's even got air conditioning. And though it's a surprise to me, I could not get it sold. I had a few people sounded like they were interested, but not anybody that even did so much as to come physically take a look at it. So I'm tired of paying for storage and I decided it's time to turn this little camper into something useful. It bears mentioning that although it has been spruced up and appears fairly decent on the inside, it's kind of rotting to pieces. This is some of the frame, you know, it's kind of going away. When you push on the table on the front of it, the whole front of the camper pushes out. The floor is disintegrating every time you step on it. And the walls aren't that solid either. Our intention when we do finally move up north is to use trees from our own property as well as some adjoining family property to build our house. We have a family sawmill about a mile up the road where we can make our lumber as well as we can uh, move trees for the timber beams from our own property to wherever they're going to be worked. But the problem is is that I can't really do that with my pickup truck. I mean, I could probably haul a 10 foot log or so, but it's gonna be pretty awkward to get into the bed of the pickup truck. So what I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little camper, I'm gonna tear the camper off of it, and I'm gonna turn it into a log trailer. Yeah, I might even get crazy and put a lift, a boom of some sort on there so I can lift the logs. I mean, really. Who wouldn't love to have a little 16-foot utility trailer? It does have some attractive characteristics to it. The trailer frame itself does. It's got a good hitch on it. It's got electric brakes built in. I need to rewire the plug, but they're there. The axles and the bearings are all in good condition. The frame of the trailer itself is in good condition as well. On the drawback side, it's kind of narrow. It seems like I can get about four feet of bed between the tires. It's kind of low. I don't know, depending on the terrain, uh, I'll have to be kind of careful about it because it sits pretty low. On the upside of that though, it's easier to get logs onto it if it's low, easier to get cargo of whatever sort onto it. So that's the plan over the next who knows how long. I hope to have it done pretty quickly, but it might drag out a little bit. So over the next little while, I'm going to be tearing all this stuff off. I'm going to take all the aluminum down to the recycler, take all the everything that I can down to the recycler between the aluminum siding and the window frames and the copper piping and wiring and all that stuff and I figure I should be able to get it you know I should be able to get it built pretty cheaply because I'm going to be making a little bit of money on the recycling I hope that you will come along and watch this process give it the old thumbs up if you think this is a good idea go ahead and give it the thumbs down if you don't think this is a good idea and uh, if you do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already that way it'll show up in your feed whenever a new installment of the giving trailer shows up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.